And distinguished member from Montana, Mr. Zinke. Gentleman from Montana is recognized. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in support of the Select Committee on China. As a 23-year veteran of the United States Navy and a former Navy SEAL commander, I'm acquainted with China and its looming threat. Without question, China's actions represent a threat not, not only to national security, but also our environment. As Secretary of Interior, I led a delegation of officials to the Pacific Islands and witnessed firsthand China's intentions. And I can tell you their intentions are clear. Control and dominance of the South China Sea and the hemisphere. It should be noted that China has a largest standing United States or United States or largest standing Navy greater than the United States. It has stolen U.S. technology and has increased their capacity for nuclear weapons. And China continues to threaten democracies such as Taiwan, the Philippines, and even our territories. On the environmental front, the People's Republic of China is the world's largest emission of greenhouse gases, the largest source of marine debris, the worst perpetrators of illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, and is the world's largest consumer of trafficked wildlife and timber products. In fact, 90 percent of the world's plastics come from four rivers in China. China's actions today represent a clear and present danger and they use any means available to them, blackmail, data hacking, and espionage. It's time to act in a bipartisan way, and I strongly urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join me in supporting this critical bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized.